have a Maltese on it. Hey, 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 Foster's Games Reviews, we're back, yes. Um, there's been a bit of a lull uh, due to some family issues, but I won't go into detail. Um, one minute game reviews and Boundary Breakers is still ongoing. It's just, there's been a tiny little bit of a lull. Uh, this video is just to throw us back in. Yeah, so quite some time ago, I posted a review of some game boxes for the N64 by a guy called Retrotendo. Now, he is currently in the process of collecting the whole set of the NES, SNES and N64. He's not far off the complete collection. He's in the process of setting up a business that focuses primarily on reproduction boxes. Now, I did a review of this and since I've done this review he has had uh, some feedback from one of my videos uh, which was my first ever video I can't say thank you enough for uh, his kindness and his messages back about that um, and the fact, that the fact that he's had repeat business with it now I have since done, I did do another video because there was Excite Bike, uh, which was one of them. Um, now, one of my recent ish videos was a crowd, uh, no, crowdfunded, a Kickstarter game, which was 40 Winks. Now, I did a sneak peek tease of a picture on Instagram. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram. If you do, you've probably seen the black and white. Artsy fartsy photo, um, which was 40 Winks. Now, I wasn't, it was all right, I suppose. I mean, I was probably taken back by the fact that I'd got a brand new N64 game uh, when I did the video. I'm like, uh oh, N64 game. Um, but I wasn't impressed massively with the box, uh, the box art. I wasn't too keen on the logo, uh, the fact that it had. Pico Interactive plastered all over it. Now, I was talking to uh, my good friend, uh, Retrotendo. Now, he took it upon himself to do something ever so kindly for me for my copy of Forty Wings. Now, he basically made a storefront box. Basically what you would find back in the 1990s. So basically what you would find on a shelf, shop ready, foil, well not foil wrap, but the red seal, which it wouldn't be because it's third party. But anyhow, point is, yes, there he has made me a box for this game. Okay. 40 wings. Now, it hasn't been open yet. I'm doing, it, I'm doing it all on camera. I've seen photographs. Now this is basically, he's reproduced a box that looks and probably smells <laughs> like the one that you would find in a shop back in the 1990s. Now he based this loosely. He based this very loosely off the now I'll show you because I've got them here. Now I sent him this. So this is the Pico Interactive box, which is oversaturated. Look at the size of that. And look at the size of their logo. It's huge. I mean that's basically as big as that. I mean the the, the logo is it's just off. It doesn't look right. Look. Memory card, the, the controller doesn't even look legit. 
it looks like some a bootleg. I mean, yes, I know it's not an original game. It is, and that's the PAL version. That's the, that's, uh, that's the NTSC, and that's the PAL. Obviously, there with the box around. That is the closest thing, where is it, to actually looking anything like an official N64. So, that bit looks pretty good. Yeah, I get that. That looks fine. Um, but overall, the back's all right. Don't mind the back. Um, but it's off. It just it doesn't hit the spot. So he went out of his way. He even went out and bought a PS1 copy of the game to do a HD scan of the cover, so then he could reproduce it on this. Now this is. I nearly swore then. I mean, right, let, let's take a third party game on the N64. Now right, let's compare it with a first party and a third party. I'm going to do this. So we've got. Go for Mario. Well, on the first party game, made a bit of the dust. You had the. Yep, you got the spine there, spine there. We've got the, the the German, always thin German for some reason. That, and then you had the little, like a, almost not a silhouette, but like a, an image in one colour, which was Bowser, and then the front cover, which was the, um, yeah, the actual the game. And you had the borders, the banding, you had the logo, N64. That's what, that's what I said. It's pretty close on that front but it's off it's still off it's still not perfect but the font that's what I'm trying to say the font was off so yep first party an official uh, produced Nintendo game by Nintendo that one now a third party <coughs> as you can see third party you had the black band just down the side where you don't have the surround around the edges a shadow on the camera there hi so let's go here come this side right, so you've got actually the full image across the front there you've got the uh, the, uh, the developers um, you've got the it's pal so to the side you've got the banding same again a bit of uh, some detail in the background Pat. this was made by uh, G Interactive hey that's what it says in the manual uh, back in the day which it was canned due to uh, lack of sales on the PS1 didn't do very well it was completely finished so they crowdfunded it Kickstarter keep saying crowdfund Kickstarter project so that came to fruition. Fruition? Fruition? Fruition. It came to fruition and it happened. And now, let's get to the chase. Hmm? Wow. Look at that. Now, oh, that is some piece of work. In fact, that is absolutely fantastic. I cannot express in words how good this box is. It's probably it's literally as good as, if not, better than some of these um, you've got the official logo uh, you've got the controllers which if I just put on there and it says uh, one to two players simultaneous actually says it on Can you get any closer yep there you go uh, couldn't uh, you've got the the memory pack uh, the, the German logo and if you look can you just see the when I say like an image underneath. Kids. So, you haven't got it on there. No. So, no, you haven't got it on this, but anyhow, you've got the. No, I'm always in all. Central pole. No, fake was the best one. 
Right, so yeah, you've got like an image underneath the where the writing is. Uh, the exact same on this. You've got an image just underneath of the writing. Like I say, it's part of the it's the, the actual front art, which is underneath that. Um, <sighs> but yeah. Um, I can't be aware. It's fantastic. It really, really is that good. It's just amazing. It really is that good. I mean, he's gone to the. Well, he's even put it on the tabs. What it would have on the tabs. Um, it's fantastic. And like I say, he's used the scan of the. He used the scan of that. Off this, and he's reproduced it onto there, just there. He's uh, also taken the logos from the original developers, GT Interactive, Eurocom, which these two basically dissolved into another company, which was. Uh, I forget, but they dissolved into another company that got bought out. Uh, but how good is that? I mean. I shall, I don't wanna, I really don't wanna. So I'm gonna fold it up. Look at that. That is, that is fantastic. That really is. I mean, if you want any custom boxes, I mean, it's currently doing some uh, for a customer. Um, not 100% sure, but I don't think it's because of the post that he posted on his um, Facebook group, on the Retro Tendo. Whether it's because of this, I don't think it is. Uh, I just think it's something that it's took it on as a project. It's for a Mario game, uh, which is I think it's a Super Nintendo game. It's doing it's basically a ROM hack. Uh, but he likes doing these kind of projects, and to me, that is as good as, if not better, than what would have come out originally. Uh, the back box art is from the, uh, I do believe it's the PS1, but can I point out that the hood, the, control, the screen hood, is identical, so anything that looks off on this is not off, it's as good as, uh, but I do believe it's, um, I'm sure he said it was the PlayStation screenshots in the surround of, um, None of these match up, you see. But they're different screenshots entirely. You see that? Yeah. So he's actually used the PlayStation screenshots, but he's basically ported it onto this. And he's made it fit. That heater stinks. Got a heater on and it's not been on for a while. Three weeks to be precise. But how good is that? I mean, how nice is that going to look on the show? Eh? Can I just, just... Where shall I put it? Where shall I put it? Can I just... Just sit it there. How nice is that, eh? Look at that. Look at it, isn't it? That is fantastic. Thank you, bro. I really how good that is. I'm super, super, super impressed. Here I am. I mean, some of his previous work um, was here. I mean, this is from my from an older video. Uh, I can put the link in the description. Uh, you can check out the review of this. But again, uh, that's one of his. Um, this this is one of his. Uh, this I mean, this box is two years old now. Uh, but it hasn't aged one bit. It's literally. Super fantastic. I can't fault him. It really is that good. I mean, he doesn't, like I've stated on my previous videos, he doesn't put, oh, I've seen some reproduction, some guys or whoever they are, male, female, but uh, I've seen some people who do reproduction boxes and they actually, where it's got the numbers in the barcode, uh, they actually put the word reproduction. Uh, and it just doesn't, it takes the detracts from the chart, I know, yeah, but 
uh, not, I won't say charm, it just adds to the, it feels like it's the real thing. But you put reproduction, I mean like look, if you've got that in a shop, you'd be like, really? It's like putting reproduction on that, I, I, I get the same vibe from it. So, that. Retro Tendo, I cannot thank you enough. For our people who want to check out your content, I suggest they check the link below to your Facebook group. Uh, he is on Instagram. He's not very, he's not as active on Instagram as he is on Facebook. Uh, he's always updating on Facebook. His website slash shop on Facebook and his website will be up and running hopefully next year. Uh, I will be running something in conjunction with him, uh, regards to his reproduction boxes. So should you be interested within the next uh, several months, uh, obviously coming months should I say, uh, any information please feel free to click the links below. Uh, if you want to ask me any questions then I can forward them to him regarding this but he is such a talented, talented man uh, to do something on this scale is amazing and like I say if you want anything doing, any, any, um, any ROM hacks or any boxes that are Literally in tatty state, but you really love the game. You've got, or you've got a cartridge, and you want to uh, get a box for it. Let's, let's have a look. So let's Road Rash. Get a box for it. It's one of those. If, if it's one of those that you really want, which I do want, Road Rash, don't I? That's your tender. Um, take another example. You've got a game. You haven't got a box for it. You found it on a car boot, flea market, whichever. You paid a couple of quid and you think, oh, it's a hot, it's one of those games that brings such, so much nostalgia. But you just want that box. And it's prices, I, I mean, to be fair, I can't. The more you buy, the cheaper it becomes in the long run for postage. Um, but they're $6.99 and the generosity of this guy eludes me. I mean, he really did come up on this one and he did this one as a gift and thank you so much I truly appreciate what you've done um, and I'll forever be thankful for this I really am it's it's an amazing thing I know it's just a box it's just a box but to me it's so much more I mean that will be put in storage that that to me is dead that's nothing I've got the cartridge I've got the instructions now I've got the original box. To me, that is an original box. That I mean, it, that's never that was never produced, but to me, it now has by the very talented Retro Tendo. And like I say, should you want any reproduction boxes, some of the finest quality you will ever find anywhere. And like I say, um, my first ever review video of these boxes has surpassed something like 600 views and it's had a lot of feedback positive feedback and sales to his uh, page through that um but yeah that is the video that i've done um my next one will be um my next video will be what? my next video will be one minute game review, which is coming. Um, I can't say when, it will be in the next few days. Uh, obviously after this has been uploaded. Uh, then the next one after that will be Boundary Breakers. I'm not gonna say what console it is. Um, sorry I've been a bit uh, lapsedaisy in my videos, but for personal reasons, family comes first, and that is all I can say. Um, but thank you for watching i hope i truly hope you've enjoyed this video because i've i've anticipated i've really really looked forward to opening this that, that box uh in fact it came yesterday this is the only chance i've had to open it and i did it in front of the camera which is what i wanted to do and it's purely for the reaction it's just an amazing thing so yeah uh, thank you again, and if you want any game boxes, if you want any reproduction boxes, like I said, uh, drop me a message or go onto the link below 
to his Facebook group and direct message him from there. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I mean, for all our future content, there's a little bell somewhere, whichever it is, I don't know. It's, it's definitely not there, it's one of these. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, click that bell for notifications on our latest videos. Um, but thank you, I really do appreciate everybody that subscribes and we're nearly at 300. Well, as I always say, don't forget, love life, keep gaming.